A lot of people have came to me saying their fast flags are not working and this video is going to show you exactly how to fix and troubleshoot every issue basically. It's going to get your fast flags working 100% of the time. Now of course I'm basing this video around my fast flags because people come to my community and download my flags because they are the best fast flags you can possibly get. They're also completely safe to use and they work uh, literally 100% of the time. So if you join my discord or there'll be a link down below you don't have to join. You go to the downloads channel right here. These are the fast flags you're going to want to use. You can either copy and paste them directly directly. If you press expand right here, you can just grab them or you can download and import them. It does not matter. I've got a lot of videos on how to import them. I'll, I'll probably show you quickly in this video as well. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this on Blockstrap, but if you have Fiststrap, it's a literally the same thing. And of course, if you are going to be using Blockstrap, you need to be using this version, version 2.9.1, because this is the only Blockstrap version that still has the fast flag editor. So going into here, if we go to engine settings, firstly, you need to make sure that you have allow Blockstrap to manage fast flags turned on. Of course, this has to be turned on. Oh, and also if you're in this version to make sure it doesn't just disappear, the fast flag editor or that the fast flags actually do work, go into the settings down here, make sure automatically update block strap is turned off. You have to do this. Otherwise, block strap is just going to automatically put you onto the new version, which either gets rid of the fast flag editor or it just stops the fast flags from working. So that's also very important. Of course, if you're on fist strap, you're not having this issue or any other uh, boost strapper. So again, first thing, turn on the access to even use fast flags, and then you want to import them correctly. This is something that a lot of people get wrong. I thought I was going to need to show you, but I, I do. You want to press add new right here and then go over to import JSON and you can literally copy and paste them. Just press OK or you can import the file. So right here, you'd basically just find the fast flags file you downloaded from my discord or wherever else and you just open it basically. Another way you can do this is also through the mods folder. A lot of people don't know this, but if you go over to mods and press open mods folder in here in client settings, this right here, client app settings .json, these are your fast flags or at least this is the file for it. If you click into there, boom, your fast flags, you can find them here as well. You can also edit them here. You all need to check that if you go to properties, make sure read only is unticked. Otherwise, it will not let you import them. So you can tick this afterwards once you know they're 100% working. But for now, read only, untick that, press apply, press OK. If you didn't have it on, you're good to go. But yeah, going back to the engine settings, fast look editor. When you import them, you should have this screen pop up. What you want to do is press yes. Just simply press yes like that. Now it's going to load every fast flag as it should do. Before we carry on, if you're into trolling your friends in Roblox Forsaken, role playing in any game, or making streams and YouTube videos, you need to check out EasyOS VoiceWave right now. This real-time AI voice changer is an absolute game changer. It gives you ultra low latency for zero delay changes, over 300 professional sound presets from robotic tones to cinematic FX, and 100 plus trending AI voices like anime girl voice, ghost face, an AI news anchor, or even baby girl and celebrity effects. VoiceWave supports over a thousand online games like Roblox and Fortnite, plus Discord, Zoom, OBS, and literally any messaging app. And key features, you can capture crisp vocals and modify the pitch and tempo of them live. They have AI enhanced noise reduction, which kills all background noise and will give you studio quality audio just like mine. There's multi-track audio mixings, so you can turn any mic into a literal GoXLR essentially. They have crazy soundboard effects and so much more. And the best part is it works on Windows 10 and 11, and it's a free download. I'm going to give you a live demo right now. Here's my normal voice as you've been hearing. So when I'm feeling a little insecure, I can sound like this. This is exactly how I wish I sounded. Hey, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the video. Yo, what's going on? I'm cool kid. As you can hear, all these are very smooth, they're realistic and lag free. You can protect your privacy, immerse in all these characters and chat like never before. And it's the perfect timing to do so. Their holiday sale is live with up to 68% off pro features using code SANTAGIFT. That means you can upgrade and get unlimited voices, advanced AI features, noise suppression, and pro tools at the best price yet. So head to the link down below, apply Santa Gifts to check out, and level up your game voice today. Let's get back to the video. If you're using Fish Strap, it may only show like four of them here, but it's because Fish Strap don't let you edit every flag in the editor. Some of them you have to edit with these settings right here. Now with Block Strap, it gives you access to edit them here and also in the fast flag editor. So on this screen and here as well. But honestly, if you go back to the actual folder, uh, like through the mods folder here, or the actual file, sorry. It's actually easy if you edit them here because you have full access, full control. As long as you know which values you want to, you know, maybe tweak or what you want to take out. But now we all have our fast flags installed or imported correctly. If you're still confused, I have many videos on how to do this, or you can join.
join my Discord or you can comment down below and I'll give you some help. But assuming the fast legs are now in, you want to press save. Make sure you do that because if you don't press save, they won't work. And you also want to make sure you have no other bootstrappers installed because they may interfere. Maybe one bootstrapper is trying to use another set of fast legs or no fast legs at all and they're overriding or conflicting with each other. So if I'm using Blockstrap, I don't want to have Fishstrap installed as well, nor do I want to have Plexity or whatever other bootstrapper. Now to uninstall them, you can literally type in add or remove uh, into your Windows search and you'll find add or remove programs. Here you can find it. So for example, I have fist strap and I have block strap. If I, if I want to use block strap, I will want to uninstall fist strap right here. They should just press uninstall. Now in the rare case that you find it's still conflicting and it seems that although you've been uninstalled fist strap, for example, or whatever bootstrapper, it seems that it's still like lingering around your own PC. In that case, you want to download something called Revo uninstaller. Now, annoyingly, I have the pro version. I don't know why uh, I... I used to have the free version, the, the free version, and it won't let me show you, but it's very simple. You open it, it's going to let you actually uninstall whatever bootstrapper, and it will also remove the registry entries. I know that may sound confusing to some of you, but when you install stuff, sometimes, sometimes remnants or, you know, files of the initial install will remain on your PC, and it will confuse your system. It will confuse your game. So this is going to remove them. It's basically the most superior way to uninstall, to uninstall programs. But to be honest, doing it in Windows directly, it should usually work. Now, last but not least, assume Assuming that you've imported them correctly, you've checked your read only, you have no other bootstrappers installed, you need to make sure you are launching your game through the bootstrapper. So in the case of Blockstrap, after I've configured my settings, I've imported them, everything's good to go, I've followed all the other steps in this video, I want to launch Roblox through Blockstrap. Right here, literally launch Roblox, every bootstrapper will have the same thing, just launch it through there and make sure before doing so you have Roblox installed. This is because a lot of you are trying to run your bootstrappers or your fast legs through the browser version of Roblox and that isn't going to work. You need to run it through the desktop version. That means you're going to have to install Roblox on your desktop. So it's very simple. You just go to roblox.com slash download. And right here, it download Windows app. Once you have done that, you're not actually opening it through here. You're still doing it through the bootstrapper. But that will now allow you to launch through the desktop version, which is the only way the flags will work. You can't do this on browser. That is basically what I'm saying. In a nutshell, do not use the browser version. Launch through the bootstrapper on the desktop version of Roblox, in which you need to actually have installed the original desktop version of Roblox. There's a misconception that people think you can just download, you know, whatever bootstrapper. This isn't Roblox. It's just a third party launcher, which lets you customize Roblox, but you still need it initially downloaded for this to even work. 